Explosions shook Beirut after midnight on Monday, a day after Israel's heaviest bombardment of the southern suburbs known as the Dahia since it escalated its air campaign on September 23. Israel has said it is targeting Hezbollah, the strongest armed force in Lebanon, which has called its firing of rockets into Israel a show of support for the Palestinians. Lebanon state-run National News Agency reported more than 30 strikes overnight into Sunday. New strikes began in the Beirut suburbs late Sunday, AP video showed. Israel's military confirmed it was striking targets near Beirut and said about 130 projectiles had crossed from Lebanon into Israeli territory, with some intercepted. A year after Hamas' October 7 attack, Israel has opened a new front in Lebanon against Hezbollah, which has traded fire with Israel along the border since the war in Gaza began. At least 1,400 Lebanese, including civilians, medics and Hezbollah fighters, have been killed and 1.2 million driven from their homes. Israel says it aims to drive the militant group from its border so tens of thousands of Israeli citizens can return home. Israel is on high alert ahead of memorial events for the October 7 attack, while rallies continue around the world marking the anniversary. Explosions lit up the night sky over Beirut as Israel expanded its bombardment in Lebanon on Saturday. It hit Beirut's southern suburbs and struck a Palestinian refugee camp deep in the north for the first time as it targeted both Hezbollah and Hamas fighters. Thousands of people in Lebanon, including Palestinian refugees, continued to flee the widening conflict in the region, while rallies were held around the world marking the approaching anniversary of the start of the war in Gaza. Israel's attack on the northern Bedouin camp killed an official with Hamas military wing along with his wife and two young daughters, the Palestinian militant group said. Hamas later said another military wing member was killed in Israeli strikes in Lebanon's eastern Baqa Valley. Israel's military said it killed two senior officials with Hamas military wing in Lebanon, where fighting has sharply escalated. Israel has killed several Hamas officials there since the Israel-Hamas war began, 
in addition to most of the top leadership of the Lebanon-based Hezbollah. At least 1,400 Lebanese, including civilians, medics and Hezbollah fighters, have been killed and 1.2 million driven from their homes in less than two weeks. Thank you.